guys, good day guys, and welcome to another SMC tutorial video. Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use my Tone wallet, right? So my Tone wallet is a wallet that is built on the Tone network, right? And it's basically a wallet that has been created for users to store their assets, their Tone assets, and also access Tone decentralized applications, right? Or Tone D apps, right? So, um, yeah. First thing that you're going to have to do is you're going to have to install the wallet from your Google Play Store or from your Apple Store. And I've already installed mine, so we are just going to go ahead and open the app. Alright, so once it's open, yeah, if you're a new user or if you already have a ton wallet, right, you can go ahead and you know import it using the 24 secret words. You can see that it's a little bit different from you know um, um the Binance Smart Chain or trust wallet right here you have 12 um secret free a uh, 12 word secret freeze instead of you know 24 words right so we can go right ahead and create a wallet that is that's if you're um, a new user right you can create a wallet that if you don't um have an existing wallet right so yeah basically our wallet is ready so you can create a code to protect it right so i'm just going to input this all right we input the code again and now you can see the the you know the disclaimer use responsibly you know is a self custodial wallet which means that only you have full control and most importantly full responsibility of your funds right they claim that they don't have you know any um they don't have any backup of your seed freeze or they don't have you know any backdoor to access your seed freeze if you lose it and yeah you can just you know agree that you've read up um the, the information and then you click backup now right so you can you know click the whole thing right the safety rules and then you click understood and now you copy down your seed phrase right you copy down your seed phrase so i'm just going to copy mine now yeah and um yeah it is you know it is it is very very important that you actually write this down instead of you know storing it online or emailing yourself or you know um probably like typing it down and storing it in your telegram or your whatsapp or wherever right it is better you write it down and store it offline right so i'm just going to write mine down right now all right so i've typed in you know the words that are required so i'm just going to hit continue and boom my wallet is open right so you can see that the interface is just pretty you know it's pretty nice it's pretty okay right you can see the name of your wallet here you can see the the um the value of what you have in your wallet right here you can see your address and you can copy it right here right you can copy it and then you see that your address was copied here you can add or buy you know using your card right or using you know um your bank or whatever right here you can send here you can swap and here you can end right this involves sticking here you can head over to the settings and here you can scan you know another qr code this is for when you want to send right so when you want to send out tokens you can also you know if you want to scan the barcode or the qr code you can use this right so yeah you can change the name from my tongue wallet right so you just click this you click the little pen by the side i'm just going to change this to smc wallet right and you can see that it's done right so you can see you know your assets here you can change the currency to euro rubble yuan bitcoin or ton coin right but now it's in the us dollar right you can also copy your address from here like i said you can add or buy directly from here you can send out you know you you paste in the address or domain you choose the amount of ton you want to send out and then you can you know decide to add a memo right i think memos are more important when you're sending to centralized exchanges all right so yeah that's basically it so you can decide to swap too right you can decide to swap um ton my ton wallet has you know an in in app swap right so you can swap from ton to you know gram you can swap from ton to whatever right and it also serves like a bridge right it serves like a bridge so you can also you know swap from that to you know the binance chain smart chain you can swap to you know gram you can swap to not coin you know yeah you can swap to a whole lot of things before sending them out right so you can head over to explore here shows you your activity right it shows your transactions money you've received money you've sent out and all that right you head over to explore this is where you access decentralized applications here you can see will sorry 
here you can see wheel you can see poker you can see fragments you know you can see ton diamond stone play right and then if you don't see your d app here you can just impute the link by searching or entering an address right so if you head over to here this is where you get your nfts if you have any nfts on the ton um, blockchain you can get them here right so once you get them here you can you know send them out directly from here or you can even you know i think that you'd get access to a link so that you'd be able to you know send them directly to the exchange you can get them here right so you can get your nfts here and all that right so here you can also see your tone coin you can see you know your balance you can see the um the performance of tone coin and one thing i really love about this is that it really breaks down you know the performance of your assets as long as you know they are listed on official platforms right so if i click on right now you can see that you know it kind of shows me um gives me a look of the chart right so i can see like the basic movements without having to go down to a centralized exchange or coin gecko or wherever to look at the chart right i can bring it down to one day seven days one month three months one year and i can show the overall performance right starting from 0 .0 0 0.5 right so yeah I like the you know i love the interface right i love the interface and then you can just click it uh you know you can just click back and then it it goes back to what it was right now you can see that everything sort of goes on in one page right you don't have to move on to another place everything is you know just here and i think that makes it like easier for beginners right so where you can you know kind of view everything in one page if you want your activity it's here if you want to explore it here if you want to head over to nfts you have it here right so yeah, that's one thing that i love about this so we can head over to n right so now you can see that you can stick you know your ton let's say you have a hundred ton right your balance in a year would be like 103 so that's just three percent increase that's um estimated three percent apy right yeah so this is for like more for um you know the big players that you know that basically want to just store their money probably they have like million dollars they're not going to use or 10 million dollars they're not going to use for a while right i don't know for whatever reason you can just store it here and then make you know three percent right and i think that's even more than a bank can give you at the moment i don't really know right but then i think it's safer and it is you know easier to you know stick it right and the apy could increase right that's that's a possibility too right so you can head over to settings right you can change the appearance of your you know of your screen right you can see this is a normal system appearance right you can see this is dark right you can see this is light uh, i don't know why it keeps on going back but then you can also enable animations and you can also you know play sounds right you can decide to enable or disable them right so you can head over to assets and activity you can change the base currency like i said before you can also do that in the page you can change the investor view you can hide tiny transfers right you can you know hide tiny transfers you can sort by cost you can hide tokens with no cost and you can add tokens right so let's say you buy a project right you buy a project you can add even without buying it but you bought it and then you want to add it to you know the the um you want to add it to the home screen right you can do that let's say you want to add not coin right so we've added not coin right that's basically how it works all right so all right, so you can change the language settings right change it from english to you know whatever you want all right you can also you know back up your secret words if you haven't you know you can go through the the, the disclaimer and you know the the um the terms of service you can get support you can read what you know my tongue wallet is about you can install on desktop and then you can exit the app right so basically this is you know it's a very very lovely app for you know beginners right i'll personally recommend it for beginners right so yeah that's basically this is basically how to use my tone wallet right so i hope you guys have fun trying this out right and to support the channel i would you know if you want to support the channel please get a bag of wiki cat right you can buy wiki cat to support the channel right because you know it's the tutorial token that you know you know gives us the, the motivation to keep on making these videos right so yeah um if you want to support the channel get a bag of wiki cats and like i said before i hope you guys have fun trying this out be sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video